Hello everybody, a set of uh, CT scan images, contrast enhanced axial images of chest are in front of you. This set of images has been uploaded on YouTube by www.redrounds.com and they've uploaded this video as a positive case of right coronary artery aneurysm. We don't want to discuss the pathology here. I want to use this set of images as a tool to tell the difference between the pulmonary vena system and pulmonary arterial system. So when you're looking at a CT scan of chest and you see blood vessels going through lung parenchyma, this you should be able to tell whether the vessel belongs to pulmonary veins, pulmonary vena system or pulmonary arterial system. Say for example, we want to know whether this is a branch of pulmonary artery or this is a pulmonary vein. So what we simply do, we follow this. We move superiorly and inferiorly. So I'm moving superiorly and then I'm moving inferiorly. I can see there's a blood vessel and there's a blood vessel, the joining here and there's a blood vessel coming from here as well. Okay, from posterior side and see that blood vessel joining here and we want to see whether this blood vessel is opening into left atrium or it is branching off from pulmonary arteries. Pulmonary arteries, let, let me show you this first and then so this is if I'm going up superiorly and that blood vessel open into or it branched off from a pulmonary artery. So this is main pulmonary trunk, left pulmonary artery, and that blood vessel uh, branched from left pulmonary artery. So that was uh, a pulmonary branch of pulmonary artery. Now there's another blood vessel here, and we want to know whether this is a uh, branch of pulmonary artery or this is contributing to pulmonary venous system. So we'll follow this up and down so so the branch is coming off so there's a branch coming up from here and there's another branch here we'll go down inferiorly so we can see that both the vessels are joining here and and this is the blood vessel that we're tracing and it is opening into the left atrium. The left atrium is the, the, the posterior most part of the heart close to uh, vertebra. So that blood vessel, so this is a branch of pulmonary artery, we know it now, and this is uh, a pulmonary vein. There are four pulmonary veins that open into left atrium, two from right side and two from left side. So this is one of those two on uh, left side of the patient and is opening is, is uh, opening here okay so this is a pulmonary vein opening into left atrium and we'll trace that other pulmonary vein again okay so that's probably just one and this is the second one Okay. Similarly, on uh, right side of the patient, one pulmonary vein is opening into left atrium here, and the second one is here. Okay, nice and clear. Now we can also trace. Uh, say, for example, you're looking for uh, pulmonary em embolism. So you, what, the, e the easiest way is to trace uh, from the the main pulmonary trunk. So this is the this is the main pulmonary artery here and we are moving down towards the feet of the patient and the trunk is dividing into right and left uh, pulmonary arteries division here and each artery should divide it into small branches so if you move down this is the pulmonary vein we know now and these are the branches of pulmonary artery this is a pulmonary artery and there are some branches that are supplying towards the posterior side of the lung as well. 
so that's how you uh, differentiate between two uh, systems pulmonary artery or pulmonary veins this this is trachea here and trachea is this is carina and trachea is dividing into right main bronchus and left main bronchus this is ascending aorta this is descending aorta we know there is a pathology here but we don't want to discuss it today uh, there is a coronary artery arising from the root of aorta and the second uh, second coronary artery is arising uh, from here thank you very much and thank you to www.redrounds.com for uploading this wonderful uh, CD scan thank you very much